hello everyone welcome to my channel i'm gonna be teaching you guys how to build this kind of beautiful animation using gsr let's dive in yeah first thing first i have my index.ts set which is where i would be writing my codes and i have two variables here i have start and end which is actually what we, we would be using to animate um our svg and then right now i would have two divs here All right. and the other would be um so um here we would have our svg and uh so right now i would i would um copy my svg codes the parts i would have them right here so i'll do that in a minute so um we would have let's close this we would have our container right here then this would actually have um the heading which would have the world wizard tree right so actually this is actually a kind of a small application basically we are just trying to um have a basic i mean a small animation right so here um there's actually this svg which would be animating right so yeah let's actually launch this um let's start this development server right here so run day while we wait as this one runs we would actually start with the styling right so we actually have svg and h1 right so here for now we should target this um preloader container right here so here dot preloader container i'm trying to um center everything here to the center everything here to the center same goes with this container also so i would actually have closed right i mean there would be something that is there will be a bit similar right so i'll give this one display of grid and then place container place items place content center then give it a width of 100 percent then height of 100 viewport height so actually this has to be like this then same goes for the other one container we have display the grid place content center width actually um 100 percent right and height should be actually um viewport height also so in this case we would um we've we've styled our containers the two containers we have so yeah let's actually try let's check what is in our yeah so look up all right yeah we have the um development server open here so there's nothing here right now so in this case we would have um this here so my target right now is this svg right so here so here i think i missed some styling here so yeah we should have um position absolute then we have top zero left and zero right so i think we've done here so we should actually target this h1 tag also so yeah we have things and then fighting uh h1 
then font size should be 80 pixel color should be white right let's check this yeah i think we are getting there so and uh so what we have to do right now is actually to start with our um to start with the g and uh, the gsub to import the gsub um library so from here we should have import gsub from gsub right so then actually then this right so we've done that then the the next thing is to um create i mean we actually need to start um to target this svg right here and uh this h1 so i would have i would need to have um reference here it's rep then and um preloader ref so here const preloader ref because to use ref from react we should have not as an initial value same thing for um the div i mean the svg yeah we've done that i mean same thing for the time for the h1 tag so try to tag so right here we would have um ref tied to ref right so um what actually happens next is that we import use effect yeah then use effect we actually need to call these ones right so we have the depend empty dependency hurry right there and then um i need to create um a timeline to animate this svg and the h1 in a specific order right so right now i would have i think let me create a function outside here cost costs so this is actually not returning anything so this has to be void yeah so const timeline equals to gsub dot timeline we actually call it this timeline function, right? So here we would have um T L dot two these two actually um accept two um arguments, right? So first one is actually the um target, which is actually on this preloader ref dot current comma then the options right here first off there's this um we actually need to target the um the the the, the path in the svg i mean this this uh um 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 this um d um attributes right here right so this is actually our target here so what we actually need to do right now is actually um we have um so we have um uh duration should be uh let's give it 0 0.9 seconds 
and uh, attributes which is actually on um, this day which would give us yeah this has to be start so that is the essence of having this um start variable and the end variable yeah so this would be start and uh, there would be um east they should have power two dot east in two dot two Dot two um preloader ref dot current call the options then we have um duration also let's give this point nine seconds also zero point nine let's give the attributes the end which is actually um end uh, um variable here and then we should have the is to know more about the is um options there you could actually visit the gsav um website and know more about that prop power two dot is out Right, so let's check what we've got. Whoa. Yeah, there's a mix up here. I think, yeah, we should have this is actually um, having a different color, I mean, a black color. So we should change that right here. So SVG path. So we have um fill color should be white so let's check this out wait, 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 wait. and also svg should have the color of um i mean the width um hundred percent and the height of hundred percent yeah so we gave the SVG um height of hundred percent then index dot yeah oh yeah 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 we should move um ref attributes right here to um part oh for just silly mistake then we actually need to um call this function right here right so yeah we have this ref in the parts yeah so let's change this to vm viewport weights let's see yeah so with um we actually change this as video width to 100 percent viewport width and then we actually need to um set this here set this to dot two 
yeah so this would actually be um we actually need to um kind of erase the preloader and then so we would, be, would we would be able to show what is actually the content of the website so yeah we actually need to target the um container right here so we would have rare no yeah so we'd have ref so i would have um preloader ref container right so we actually have to define it here yeah so this would actually be um free loader ref container dot current then we have um the options objects so here we would have um opacity of zero duration should we let give it 0 0.4 seconds yeah and then display we should give it none yeah 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 i think we are getting there gradually so yeah we actually need to um kind of animate this that would use that drill right here so let's give it some animation yeah so um let's give this to from no from so yeah so in this case we're actually targeting this um text right here so we are, we, we named it um title ref dot current so yeah then we have we, we would actually have two object options here because we are actually defining both the initial state and the final state right so yeah we would start with um let's give this um opacity of zero then skill of um 15 let's give it let's give it then then um y with vertical should give it 100 and uh duration should be five seconds no 0 0.5 seconds yeah so in this case i think we should have this q this is q y yeah so for the second options right here we would have an um, opacity of one skill skill y of um zero y of zero and uh yeah i think we are missing something power to dot um is out let's check it yeah i think this is fine yeah thank you very much for watching